Hello, Christian Livingstone here. And guess what I'm doing today? Come on, clock's ticking, guess. <laughs> now, I know you can't guess. Uh, I'm going to tell you. I'm going to the State Fair very shortly. I'm going to be riding my electric hand cycle, and uh, I've already actually been to this one uh, uh, a few days ago when it was free to get in. But uh, why am I going? Well, that's where the people are. And uh, a state fair has, honestly, very little to do with the state. Everyone at the state fair, the vendors, the booths, the rides, the food, the exhibits of art, and uh, the people showing their produce and uh, livestock and things like that, that's all what the people do. And it's offered in a more legitimate manner than what the state does. Uh, uh, you know, you don't have to buy the the food. You don't have to go on the rides. And, uh, you know, the, what the state does is it uh, coerces, extorts money out of, of people, you know, in their homes and property taxes, on their labor and on their paychecks, in sales tax. I mean, you know, in this area, they even uh, tax uh, groceries at the grocery store. So, you know, every bite of food the state is taxing or taking a bite out of every bite uh, or I think it's every 12th bite here goes to the state every 12th bite boom uh, so you know at the state fair you'll see people you know in, in a free market economy they'll be offering all those uh, nice things in a, in a legitimate manner on a voluntary basis and so that's why I'm going uh, I believe there was uh, one state exhibit there it was a uh, state trooper, you know, highway patrol. They had a squad car back in some little exhibit somewhere, and you know, so there was a, a token exhibit by the state. Uh, of course, it was all uh, funded with, uh, you know, extorted money. They receive stolen property, but nobody seems to mind too much. Uh, I guess I'm rare in that in that way. So anyway, I'm going and. Uh, you know, the electric hand cycle will elicit some responses. So hopefully I'll get to talk to some people, meet some people, and, uh, you know, if they have any questions about the, the bike, I'll certainly share with them. Uh, and uh, I, I'm bringing some uh, some kind of pamphlets, too, on voluntarism. It's not Christ's kingdom stuff, but it's pretty close in, in its moral application, much much uh, like the, the golden rule about treating others as you'd like to be treated. And uh, that's what voluntarism is about. You know, uh, the, the pamphlet's called Voluntarism for Everyone. I mean, without forcing them, of course. But uh, you can download this in a PDF uh, file right off the internet. Just do a search uh, for voluntarism for everyone if you want to uh, check this out um, basically it, it since people most people are you know moral retards it starts very simply with the concept that if something is wrong for you and I to do like steal rob kill then it's also wrong for a group of people to steal, rob, and kill. And you know where we're going with that. You know, the state does that. And, you know, people get medals for doing all of those things. You know, if you're a state employee, you wear a uniform, got a badge and a gun, you know, all that stuff is okay for them. So that's why I say people are spiritually and moral retards uh, in many ways because they just accept that, that uh, hypocrisy that, you know, it's, of course, if I did that to somebody, oh, ew, that'd be terrible. But, oh, no, he can do it. That's okay. Yeah, sure. So, anyway, uh, any encounters that I have uh, with people uh, at the uh, fair, you know, maybe I'll just uh, hand these, uh, one of these to them uh, when I'm done talking to them. Even if it has nothing to do with the state, I'll just say, hey, if you get a chance, uh, here's a little something to read. Uh, enjoy talking to you you know, about the bike or about the, the weather. I don't care. So, yeah, I'm going to, to where the people are, and uh, they're packing them in out there at that uh, fairground, and uh, it's only about uh, two miles away from my place, and uh, I, I haven't gone before this season uh, because uh, uh, 
uh, I didn't have the uh, electric hand cycle before. And the electric hand cycle really makes things a lot easier for me. I don't, you know, I, of course, most of you know that, uh, you know, both of my limbs were severed slightly above the knee, and, uh, but, you know, with two prosthetics and some canes, I can walk like a little old lady for a good distance, but, you know, it's, it's not real helpful in a place like that, and the wheelchair isn't, uh, the best either. I mean, indoors it, it's great, uh, but, uh, you know, people kind of perceive you differently from a wheelchair, you know, like, you poor little crippled boy, you know, really well. So, uh, you know, I don't like to use the wheelchair uh, out in public so much. I, I drive a car, and often when I go to the uh, supermarket, I'll push a shopping cart, but now, with the, after I finish building the electric hand cycle, I, I roll right into the supermarkets, fill up the basket, and roll right out and back in my living room. So, you know, I'm really enjoying it. And uh, this uh, fair, as you'll see, uh, makes it uh, very easy for me to roll around. And I even have a camera mounted on the top of the uh, bike, and I'll, I'll show it to you real quickly right now. Do, 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 do. Okay, there is my old camera mounted right on the top of the crank arm stanchion post. So that's what I'll be doing. I'll be rolling right in and of course I got my Christ Kingdom uh, uh, license plate I put on the back there. And so. People are going to know where I'm coming from after I hand them this uh, uh, pamphlet. They're, they're going to realize pretty obviously that I'm not just a, a secular anarchist. I'm a Christian anarchist. You know, there's a better way than the state. And, uh, you know, that's where the more advanced stuff comes in with uh, Christ teachings. But, you know, you got to start where people are. And, you know, if you can get one simple moral... Uh, lesson into their minds maybe it'll bear fruit maybe they'll start to say hey yeah how could I ever believe that you know something so wrong for an individual could be so right for a group of individuals to do so anyway that's what I'm gonna do so let me get uh, rolling here and uh, maybe I'll take a couple of video clips uh, along the way too okay, there's okay? The fair from a distance Let's zoom in and See what we got, Ferris wheels and stuff going State on. State Fair here, and I've uh, encountered a, a worker here in the parking lot, and he's uh, asked me about the uh, hand cycle. What can I answer uh, about the, the machine here? I was kind of interested in where the battery and how it operated and where you got your parts and stuff like that, and I thought it was pretty interesting. Never seen one like that before. Did I answer your questions? Yeah, you did. Okay, yeah. and what's your name? Leroy Ryan. Okay, Leroy, thanks. It's been a, a pleasant uh, encounter with you here as I get ready to go in. Well, thank you. Now I'm interested in your bike. I'd like to have one like that someday. <laughs> <laughs> I'll have you build me one. <laughs> or just do that web search, electric okay. uh, bike, bike kit. kits. Okay. Yeah. I have a friend that's on the internet all the time, so I'll get him to look it up for me. Okay, thank see you, what Leroy. The parts are. Thank you. And here we are at an entrance to a state fair. All right, here's all the rides. Whee! We're gonna go indoors over here. There's a lot of vendors and stuff going on in there. Yes, sir. How can I answer any of your questions about this crazy uh, electric hand cycle of mine? So, how do you propel it forward? What's the propulsion like? Well, it's electric and it's manual. So, I can pedal, as you can see uh, right. right here. And there's a, a, a console for the electrics, like two sets of handlebars. And, uh, gee, I, I, I suppose you saw me rolling in here without pedaling. So, right. It'll go slow and it'll go quite fast too. How fast does it get? Uh, about 25 miles an hour if I want it to, but I'll generally uh, keep the uh, jumpers uh, on the controller switched down to uh, a slower speed of about 20 miles an hour. 
I get nice. more range that way, and it's really a safer speed. I rarely want to go 25 miles an hour. And uh, cool. yeah, I don't know what's gonna happen if they're gonna go around or go shoot up. Let's see. Okay, it's a round and around thing. Here's some critters. Snakes. Who doesn't like snakes? I suppose some people don't, but I kind of like snakes. That's a rat snake. That's a gopher snake. And there's some fishies over here. Yeah. Yeah, you mind if I film you? Sure. By the way, sir, where did you get that bike? I got it from inside my head. Uh, did you make it yourself? Yeah, that's what I mean. What? Sure. Why don't you make them to start selling? Well, because I don't think I could make any money on them. And uh, I made it for myself, not because I want to make money, but because I had some issues with, you know, ambulating on my own. Uh, so. Same deal with me. I cannot watch the bike correctly. No kidding, why, why not? Yeah, whenever I try to pedal, he has autism and it's hard for him to... Yeah, it's hard for him to like come in and... and it, yeah. And so that's yeah. more whenever I pedal with my feet, my feet will not put the darn thing forward. Interesting, interesting. There are uh, uh, kits. See, this is electric powered and it's uh, manual, so I can do either one. I can't pedal with my legs because both my legs were severed uh, slightly above the knee. So I've got a, a hand crank up top so I can, I can power it. It takes about twice as much energy to do that as a normal bike is, is my guess. That's a good workout at the same time. It's a good workout, yeah. This is only... You have a brilliant idea, Dale. Huh? You have a brilliant idea. Do you live anywhere near Central County? Well, I, I live right here in town. But what I can I can suggest to you is that uh, three-wheel bikes or, or trikes, adult trikes, are available, yeah. and you can purchase the electric hub motor kits for any bike, a two-wheel or a three-wheel bike. So if you've got issues with balance or pedaling, you can put uh, uh, an electric hub motor, which is what I got on here. It's yeah, it's on yeah, this side. Huh? I have promise the balance and the pedal. There, there is a solution. If you really want to uh, yeah. do it, you can, you can get the solution. And, you know, it may be a trike like this, but without the hand-powered part. Cool. And, you know, you can install a, a, an electric hub motor on them. Thank you. Sure. Okay. I have a class that I can pay for him to go to for him to learn to ride a bike. Sure. But he takes no interest in it. I just can't do it. I can't do it. It's like, well. No, you can do it on your own. You can you can find the, the right kind of uh, wheel vehicle and adapt it, modify it. It may take some time. This thing took me about two years on and off. I, I set the project aside and picked it back up again. I, it had a narrower tail section, then I widened it. It's gone through some refinement, but you guys can save yourself a lot of trouble and get something off the shelf and maybe add on to it, modify it that way. Okay, okay. well we might do that. All right.
Okay, and here's the critters. See some critters. Are, have been severed uh, above the knee, uh, slightly above the knee, both of them. So, you know, my pedaling days are over, but up top, you know, there's no problem. I can hand crank. That's the same way with, is there a speed? Is it just standard? Is it a speed bike? I mean, do you have speeds like 10 Yeah, speeds? there's gears. The uh, front uh, uh, hub has an eight speed internal uh, gearing. So, you know, sure, I can uh, uh, pedal this. Uh, go up a pretty steep, steep driveway if I have to and and in top gear you know I can get up to a pretty good clip not as fast as you know somebody pedaling on a typical bicycle but uh, there's a variety of uh, uh, units you can buy off the shelf I built this one but you can buy some off the shelf and uh, you know three wheeled you know trikes adult trikes you can, uh, many, many times they'll install a, a, an electric hub motor for you, but usually they don't come, you know, electric trikes, but uh, they're starting to, and you can get them as an option. So, you know, just about whatever you want or think uh, would work for you can, can probably be found. That is nice. My brother builds bikes. See, Brad, this is what I want you to build me. Oh, yeah? I didn't know we could do that. Sure. one for you. All right. Choo choo taking off. Little baby choo choo. Choo choo.
them on camera. Uh, they said they had their own uh, public spokesperson and you know they'd get in trouble if you know they were interacting and speaking uh, on camera. But uh, bless their hearts, so uh, those are the ones that I gave out the most pamphlets to is, is the carnies. You know? <laughs> so anyway that pretty much wraps it up but uh, other than that the people who able to uh, make the comments and had the most uh, interaction or initiated the conversations were people with walking issues, you know, and understandably so. So that uh, about wraps it up. Bye-bye.